Photoshop added AI today and the potential is crazy. Through the new Photoshop beta that you can download as of today, you can use this new effect called Generative Fill. It's basically a smarter AI powered version of the Content Aware Fill and it can create some awesome pieces. Adobe says it can generate objects, backgrounds, extend images, remove objects, and more. All right, so I'm in Photoshop. Here I have an image I got from unsplash.com. Let's see if we can use it to generate a moon. Generative fill. Let's just write full moon. And press generate. And there, right away, it put a full moon into our image and it gave us three different options. That's the second and that's the third. And it, everything, it's not gonna be perfect. It's a beta version and it's the first day of the release, you know, so expectations, but this is probably the best one out of the three options over here. Now let's try to extend our image. We'll go to canvas size and we'll change the width to 5,000. All right, so now let's select the outside white of the image, press generate, and we won't type any text in this time. Let's just see what it does when we press generate. And look at that. It actually looks really good besides this, this cut through line right there where my selection could have been better. If I added more of the selection, it probably would have been seamless, but look at this side. It's almost perfect. We have three different options with this one as well. And yeah, there's a lot of potential here for a lot of different things. It's, it's pretty cool to see. All right, so now let's try it with something like this. This is an image I actually generated with AI, a uh, playground AI, and let's see what we can do. Let's control J to duplicate the image. Let's go to canvas size and let's double it. All right, so now we've doubled it. Let's select the outskirts, generative fill again. All right. So we have a few, three different options again. I think I like this one the best, but what I'm noticing is there's this little line right here that I kind of messed up on. I'm going to try to use the marquee tool and I'm going to select that line. And I'm also going to select over here. I'm going to see if I can generate those lines and see if I can smooth out my mistakes. And there we go, look at that. Look how much it made the lines better and how effortless it is. You can turn vertical AI images or even like low res AI images, you can extend them now and turn them into some crazy artwork, some crazy backgrounds. And not to mention they give you three different options for each one. And yeah, you can just keep going with the creativity. Like let's draw lasso tool in the sky and let's have it draw a spaceship and let's see what it can do <laughs> look at that it just generated one out of nowhere so see yeah things aren't perfect this this looks pretty good in comparison and now what's crazy is you can do your normal photoshop skills and just try to blend things in you have a a, a, a really cool image you know match the lighting however you please and there's so many options you can take it to create so many different things. Let's try to let's try to put a someone on the mountain. Let's try to put a hiker hiker on mountain. Let's see if it understands what I'm trying to do or what I'm trying to say. Look at that. And we have three different options too. Look how perfect that is. Three different options of hikers added on to this mountain, glancing up at the spaceship. <laughs> it's perfect. There's so much options you can do, and the fact that this just came out today leaves so much possibility for so many different things. In so many different areas, too. Digital art, merchandise design, poster design. There's, there's a lot of potential here, and it's really interesting to see. People are saying that this is one of the biggest updates for Photoshop ever, and I think that might be true. I wrote city at night, and I'm going to see what it can generate behind this car. Look at that. Three different options. You know, they're okay. This is probably the best one right there. You know, you 
mess with the lighting, maybe mess with it some more, and there's there's a lot of options here. Let, let me let me select the the background of the sky, and let's see if I can get a huge full moon. It's interesting, you know, not perfect, but there's there's potential. Trial and error, dedicated testing, you know, there's a lot of room for possibility. And it's cool that we are given a tool like this at this point in time. Here's another AI artwork I had created with Playground AI, and I was thinking of using it in something creatively. So let's see if we can try to extend it and get more detail into the image with it keeping it looking good. Press Ctrl J. Let's select the white part of the image. And now let's also press M to go to the marquee tool, hold shift. And I'm gonna select a little over the edge of each one so we don't get those weird lines. There we go. Generate a fill. I'm not gonna press type anything for this one. Look at that, look how perfect that was. It kept this congruent and consistent. The skull looks perfect, and that's just on the first image. We can go to the second one, and the third one, and I think the first one turned out the best. I think I think it did everything perfectly, and yeah, it just shows some of the potential with this whole thing. Hopefully, I can inspire you in some way. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you want to, check out some of my merch, but otherwise, have a good day, and yeah.